Hi, friends. Hi, guys. Hola, amigos. Hola, amigos. Hi, Miss Judy. Hi, Miss Natalie. How are you? I'm good. And yourself? I'm doing good. Thank you. Oh, that's good. That's good. All right, guys. How's everybody doing? I hope everybody's good. I hope everybody's still safe in their homes. Um, so welcome to Wellness Wednesday. So today, we're going to do things a little different today. So normally, we read a book first. Today, we're going to do an activity first. And then later on, Ms. Judy is going to read us a book about a healthy habit. Sounds good. So the healthy habit that we picked was brushing our teeth. And what is an important thing that we can do, Miss Judy, to make sure that our teeth stay healthy? Eat a lot of candy? Um, I don't know if that's a healthy habit, Miss Judy. Mm, how about brushing our teeth twice daily? Brushing our teeth, right? Mm -hmm. And we use a specific thing to brush our teeth, and it's called a toothbrush. toothbrush. So today for our special activity, we are going to pretend we are brushing our teeth. Ooh, okay. sounds like fun. So, but we're not going to actually brush our teeth. We're going to draw, okay? So we are going to draw a nice tooth. Let Miss Nally change the camera over. A nice old tooth. You see this nice old tooth Miss Nally drew here? I like it. Okay. And this tooth is yellow. Why is it yellow? Because it's dirty. And we're going to make it clean. Okay? So inside here, I have some paint. I don't know if you guys can see that paint. Mm -hmm. There's some, some white paint. And we're going to pretend that this paint is toothpaste. You can see that there. Can you see that? I see it. All right. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to brush our tooth miss judy and it this is going to show us how clean our teeth get when we brush our teeth okay mm -hmm. and miss judy when we do this miss judy we're doing this in circles are we going up and down like this all crazy when we brush our teeth that's not what we do we go in circles so in circles we're gonna clean our tooth till our tooth is nice and white. Wow, Miss Natalie, I see that. You see that, Miss Judy? Yeah. And you guys at home, if you don't have white paint or you don't have this color paper, that's okay. You can draw whatever with whatever paper you have, okay? And you can color it with whatever paint you have, okay? Even with markers. It's just using your imagination and pretending that this is toothpaste and we're cleaning our teeth, okay? Remember always to ask mommies and daddies, okay, before you guys use anything, because we don't want to get you guys in trouble, okay? All right. So this is my activity. When we're all done, this tooth will be nice and clean. So this is my healthy habit activity, Miss Judy, because it's very important that we brush our teeth. Because this is part of staying healthy. It sure is. Miss Natalie, that looked pretty awesome. I hope you guys liked the activity. I know it was kind of, it was very simple, but it's very effective. If we brush our teeth every day, we will have nice, pretty white teeth. That's right. <laughs> All right, Miss Natalie, I'm going to go ahead and read a book now about okay. the healthy habit that we're discussing. Mm. This book is called Brush, Floss, and Rinse. Oh. Okay. And this book is by Amanda Doring Torville, illustrated by Ronnie Rooney. Okay. okay. In this book, we're going to be talking about two different characters. Okay. And they're going to be discussing why it's so important for us to brush our teeth. Not only brushing your teeth, but as the title said of the book, flossing and rinsing is also very important to make sure your teeth stay healthy, okay? So the cover of the book, you guys can see, this guy right here is brushing his teeth and there goes his little doggy again in the bathroom. His little dog likes to keep him company in the bathroom, make sure you brush uh -huh. teeth well. All right, here we go.
You need your teeth to chew food. You need your teeth to talk and smile. It's important to take care of your teeth and gums. There are many ways to keep them clean and healthy. Mm -hmm. Kyle and Alan brush their teeth every night before bed. They brush the top, front, and back of each tooth. So front, back of each tooth. Mm -hmm. yep. The top, front, back of each tooth. A sticky layer forms on your teeth. This layer is called plaque. Brushing helps remove the plaque from your teeth. So we wanna make sure that we're brushing in circles to make sure that we are removing the plaque from our teeth. After brushing, Kyle and Alan ask their mom to help them floss. Their mom helps them move the floss between their teeth. Flossing helps remove food and plaque that gets stuck between your teeth. It keeps your teeth and gums healthy. So there goes Alan flossing mm -hmm. his teeth. Alan and Kyle do not chew the ice in their water glasses. Miss Natalie, why do you think it's important for us not to chew the ice in our water in our water glasses? Hmm. Maybe because it'll mess up our teeth. Mm -hmm. Never chew on hard objects like candy or ice. They can chip or break your tooth. Mm -hmm. so you have to remember. Do not chew on the ice or hard candy because it can chew, chip your tooth. They know that chewing on hard objects can damage their teeth. Alan and Kyle brush their teeth every morning. They brush for two minutes to make sure their teeth are clean. Look at them using that, that timer to make sure that they are brushing for two whole minutes. Mm -hmm. Use only a small amount of toothpaste. It should be no bigger than a pea size. Do not swallow the toothpaste. So always keep in mind, you must spit out the toothpaste. Do not swallow it. Alan has been using his toothbrush for a long time. The bristles are bent. Take uh -oh. a look at that toothbrush. Do you think that the toothbrush is properly working, Miss Natalie, if it looks all bent like that? Oh, no, I think it's time for a new one. That's right. So when you see the bristles on the toothbrush bent like that, ask mommy or daddy to give you a new toothbrush. He asks his mom for a new toothbrush. Toothbrushes wear out. They should get a new toothbrush every three months. Alan plays hockey after school. He wears a plastic mouth guard to protect his teeth. Hmm. So hockey is a sport where you must wear a mouth guard to protect your teeth. There are many sports that use a mouth guard to protect the teeth, but hockey happens to be the one that Alan is playing right now. When playing a contact sport, it's important to protect your teeth. Mm-hmm. Miss Judy, what do, what do you think will happen to him if he doesn't have those guards on? So if somebody happens to bump into him, they can damage his tooth. It could probably crack. And then uh -oh. there goes his tooth, right? So it needs to make sure that they're wearing protective gear to make sure that they are protecting their teeth. Uh, okay. Alan and Kyle choose apples instead of cookies for a snack. They know that sugar is bad for their teeth. What's your favorite fruit, Miss Natalie? I like apples. I love green apples. How about you, Miss Judy? I like to eat grapes. Ooh, you like grapes. Yeah, I like What the kind, Miss Judy? The you like green? candy grapes. Oh, you ever those tried those, Miss Natalie? 
I did. I have. I have. I it have. They're very good. Yummy. Yeah, they, they taste yummy. exactly like cotton candy. They are. They're yummy. Mm -hmm. Eating sugary snacks can cause your teeth to decay, which can cause cavities. Ooh, we do not want cavities. Mm -mm. Cavities are very painful. We do not want cavities. Alan pours glasses of milk for himself and Kyle. Milk will help their teeth strong. Milk contains calcium. Calcium helps you grow strong bones and teeth. So make sure you're drinking a lot of water because water is very good for uh, flushing out any food or plaque that's in between your teeth. The milk makes them stronger. Isn't that so nice of Alan to help his brother pour uh -huh. the milk, right? That is very nice. Mm -hmm. Kyle and Alan use fluoride rinse after brushing and flossing. They swish <laughs> it around for one minute. So not only do we want to brush, we want to rinse our mouth also. So mm -hmm. we're going to push the rinse all around their mouth for about a, a minute or so. Florida keeps your teeth from decaying. Children must be at least six years old to use fluoride toothpaste. Okay, so not only are we brushing, we're also rinsing and flossing. Alan and Kyle go to the dentist for checkups. They listen when the dentist tells them how to keep their teeth and gums clean and healthy. Everyone should have his or her teeth cleaned and checked once or twice a year. There's a dentist showing mm -hmm. Alan how to brush his teeth. Miss Natalie, like the activity you just made. Yes. Oh, sure, look at that. The end. That was a good book, Miss Judy. So it's very important, friends, to make sure that we are brushing our teeth, rinsing and flossing, and that we're also eating healthy, okay? Healthy fruits, healthy vegetables. We're drinking a lot of water and we're drinking a lot of milk to make sure our teeth stay healthy, okay? Miss Natalie, I enjoyed your activity. I enjoyed your book, Miss Judy. Thank you. All right, friends. We hope that you enjoyed our activity as well, and we hope that you are at home taking care of your teeth. And right, Miss Natalie? Yeah, that's part of staying healthy. That sure is. All right, friends. Hope to see you soon. Bye-bye. Take care, guys. Bye. Adios. Bye.